Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video, that means you might be expecting Rogers Wi Fi modem. And I have opened my box and I have found the Wi Fi modem on the top. So, yeah, this is Rogers Ignite Gen 2 modem. That's the latest one right now. And if you look on the on the other side, you have two ports coax port and the power cable port. Yep, this is it. And yep, let's just unbox and see what's inside the box. So inside the box, I have found a coax cable that is must and then the power adapter to give the power to the modem and we have an ethernet cable that's an optional for your computers and tvs and yes this is how the whole kit looks like then we'll move to connecting the cables first of all we're gonna connect the cables to the modem so i'm gonna connect the coax cable uh, with the modem and i've connected the power cable as well one thing you have to make sure is that it's pretty tight. You have to make sure it's pretty tight. You don't have to leave any loose ends here. And once it is connected, we'll go with the outlet. We're gonna connect to the outlet. So in your house, you have to found this outlet. Uh, your house must have this. So I have it, I found it here. It's the largest outlet that I need to connect. So I'm gonna connect the power cable just to be sure that the box or the modem is getting the power and yes it's lighting up that means it does have the power and now we're gonna connect the quest cable to the wall and again same thing make sure it is tight if not then you might be losing some connections and yes it's connected now you have to give it maybe two minutes and once it starts white blinking like blinking white it's all ready to set up and we'll move to the ignite wi-fi app now so this is what you have to do. You have to go to App Store or Play Store and search for the Ignite Wi-Fi app and download it. And second thing, you have to sign in with your account. Once you're going to sign in with your Rogers account, you will get this option. You have to just follow these options, get started, use the camera to scan the QR code right behind the modem. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So the camera is trying to scan it and yep, you got it. It's connected. Okay, yeah, we have found the active outlet. Yeah. And so we'll go with next. Uh, keep it on, on, on the table or something. Yeah, we have done that. Next. And connect the coax cable. Yeah, we are done with that too. Power up. Yeah, power is connected. And yes, light is white as we see in the video. And then yes, this is just a basic thing. Turn on. Now we have to create a Wi-Fi name. So for here, I'll just go with something basic. I'll I'll make it Alpha Wi-Fi. And I'll keep simple for the password as well. I will just go K W E R T Y, one two three. Next. And then yeah, it says, are you sure? Yes, we are confirmed. I would recommend this password to you. Make sure you make a secure password for yourself. And yep, we gotta wait for 10 minutes. And once everything is done, it's gonna ask you that, do you want to connect this phone to the Wi-Fi automatically? Yes, I'm gonna do that. Yep, join the Alpha Wi-Fi. Once it is done, seems like our Wi-Fi setup is done. And it says your network is up and running. You can connect any other devices as well now. Just to be sure that it is connected with Wi-Fi, I'll go to the settings in my phone and we'll check in the Wi-Fi section. So let's go to home. Let's look for the settings. Uh, where is the settings? Okay, right there. We'll open the settings and then we'll go to Wi-Fi. And yes, Alpha Wi-Fi is connected. This is it. See, so easy to set up. It's hardly going to take you five to 10 minutes for the whole setup. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, can you please subscribe to my channel? It's going to help me a lot. Thank you.